Well, hello, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino right here, the Rhino. Um, if you're in the Niagara Falls area, and you want to do some reviews with me, then maybe it'll be uh, arranged. We, uh... I don't like drinking alone, basically, and now that I don't have a cast... We could probably arrange something. Anyway, tonight's beer. Tonight's beer is right here. It's from Fork River. It's in uh, London, Ontario. Uh, Fork River, fairly new craft brewery in London, Ontario. They do do very high quality beers, but they're all very safe. They're very safe. They're usually made to appeal to both craft beer geeks and people sitting on the fence or new to the styles. Uh, so they are appealing in that they taste good, but they're held back. They're not as in your face. Uh, that being said, this is a Belgian style golden ale. It's a Belgian golden ale called Golden Boy. Golden Boy Belgian golden ale. So we are looking at 6.5, no, sorry, 5.5. .5. Again, my blind eyes and fives and sixes kind of look alike to me. 5.5% uh, alcohol by volume. <laughs> Taste the way less traveled. I'm actually a fan of Fork River. I just, I think a lot of their stuff is, is safe. I'd also like a Fork River bottle cap. Um, I'm going to look into it. I, I don't think that the price for a printed bottle cap is all that much more than the price for a unprinted bottle cap. I think the thing is that you need to order a shit ton of them. But once you made it for a year, I think you can go into getting your own bottle cap. You made it for a year, you haven't crashed yet. Buy a bottle cap. Buy a bottle cap. I want it for the fridge. The fridge is almost done. I'm more than halfway down the fridge. And I don't have a Fork River bottle cap. Anyway, let's pour it. Oh wait, there's a little bit of water in there. Okay, now we're clear. There we go, we got a little bit ahead at the end. There we go. Uh, now, here's the thing about this Belgian gold. Look at that color. Um, it does look like urine, let's be honest. Um, it looks like a slightly dehydrated urine, where the blood starts entering the pee. I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, Boy Scouts of America chart, where it shows you all the different color, colors of urine by how dehydrated you are. That's the beginning of dehydration, right there. Um, little filmy, that white head, just kind of frothy. Almost looks like you're urine after a night of drinking Molson Canadian. Almost. Uh, but yeah, it is a nice golden color. As you guys know, I'm. S Look at that though. It actually is a beautiful orbish color in this glass when it's on the camera. Beautiful, beautiful coloring. Hmm. Really, a tiny bit of like a pear fruit ester and a tiny bit of malt, and that is it. Ooh, I got a message, and that is it. Uh, nothing else on this beer really at all. Is there anything I can really say about that? No, it's just the way it is. It is what it is, right? It's a little bit of pear esters, a little bit of malt, nothing else. I mean, that's what a golden ale is. Especially a Belgian golden ale, you're going to get a little bit of fruit esters, you're going to get maybe a little bit of hops, and that's it. So it is right on cue, right on point. Let's try it. Cheers. Took a little too much air in with that slurp. Oh gosh.
okay. We're gonna have to give that another try. Okay. Is it a bad beer? Again, no. Not a bad beer at all. Is it a beer that I really care for? No. Again, they're playing it super safe. A gold, a Belgian Golden Ale, super safe beer. It's not like a Belgian Double or Triple or Quad or a Belgian Dark or or a, a Flemish Sour or anything like that. It's, it's just a Belgian Golden Ale. It's just a Golden Ale with Belgian yeast. Um... Anything wrong with it? No, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's just too boring for what I personally like. Would other people like it? I'm sure people will love this. You're a cream ale guy and you want to get into the craft beer scene? You'll like this. Uh, you are a Pilsner fan and you want to try something heavier. You'll love this because actually that's what this reminds me of. That This reminds me of a Pilsner. A slightly heavier Pilsner. That's what it reminds me of. Heavier mouthfeel, heavier alcohol by just a smidgen. Sorry, I, I chipped this glass if you guys remember weeks ago. So I gotta remember where the chip is whenever I go to put it in my mouth. Yeah. Sweet malt. Touch of earthiness. Touch of grassiness. Grassiness sits on your palate. It's actually there for a little while. Touch a pear. That's all that is. It is a slightly hoppier, slightly heavier Pilsner, basically. Anything wrong with that? No. Nothing wrong with it at all. Just not my thing. Can I give them a bad mark? No, I can't give them a bad mark. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's one of those boring, super easy drinking beers. You don't want to drink a German beer for Oktoberfest? The Golden Boy's a great beer to have. You uh, want to go out with your buddies and have like five or six pitchers at a craft beer bar, and you go to a craft beer bar and you're looking at the looking at the uh, list of stuff and you're seeing all these rye pale ales and IPAs and porters and stouts, and you're like, what can we drink pitcher after pitcher of that isn't as boring as a uh, Bose Lug Tread Kolsch? This is a little bit more interesting than the Kolsch. I like I like the Lug Tread better than this. But it's a little more interesting than the lug tread. I'll give it that. Out of 10 on it, I'll give it a 7. I'll give it a, I could buy it again. It's just too boring for me to want to drink it. That's really what it comes down to. Just too boring for me to want to drink it. Uh, right before this, I drank the uh, Saranac a Decoction Concoction Lager. Which was a, uh, basically almost a clone to this, except for darker, with a little less malt and a little less hop profile. Um, same alcohol, well, a little less alcohol percentage, too. I gave that a 6.75, I'm giving this a 7. Why am I giving this a 7? A little higher alcohol, a little more taste. But basically, they're the same beer. They're basically the same. The Golden Boy. It was given to me by Devin. Thank you very much, Devin, for bringing this, well, sending this with your brother to my place. I'm glad I got a chance to try it. Just, uh, if I'm in London and I'm looking for something to drink in, on, in mass quantities, and I'm with, say, uh, my wife's father, so my father-in-law, I'm with my father-in-law, I'd buy this because my father-in-law could enjoy this. It, that, that, I think, is what these two beers both the de decoction, concoction, and the Golden Boy have going for them. These beers bring two people together. My father-in-law drinks Blue, he drinks Molson, he drinks Lucky, he drinks basically whatever cheap stuff he can find. He does Whenever he comes over, he tries whatever craft beer I have, and he doesn't usually dislike them. There's not very many of them he's disliked. There are a few, 
but he is open to try them all. And the thing with the Golden Boy is I could buy a pitcher of it, sit it in the middle of the table, and we both would be keep continuing to go back for more. So that's what this beer does. It brings people together. It brings people from two different beer drinking avenues and puts them together in a place where they both can enjoy themselves. So for that, Forked River is great. Again, kind of safe brewery. But they do their job, and where they are, it's a great thing to be doing. Uh, they're in a university town. It's something just amazing to do in a town that hasn't had a craft brewery in forever. And it's in a, in a place that hasn't had a craft brewery in forever that has a Labatt brewery right in the town as well, well, in the city as well, and has the university there. This is what you want. This is opening doors for people. This is bringing people together. I mean, you can go out with with your roommates at, in university and you could drink uh you could drink uh labat 50 you could drink molson export you could drink flying monkeys anti-gravity ale you could drink i don't know bugs lug tread and i could drink uh the shit i drink let's say uh parabola and we could buy a picture of this and enjoy it we all could we not might not all all five of us like it but we could all five of us enjoy it and uh yeah that's the best you can hope for thank you guys bye